Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some NFL news here tonight, and then I'll hear 12, about 12, 23, and probably get this video uploaded, then I'll do the Dodger recap, and then probably go to sleep. Uh, but I just want to get these two videos uploaded. Don't feel like doing the Dodger recap tomorrow, tomorrow after, when I get home from school, just because it's an off day, so I just kind of want to enjoy the off day for the Dodgers. Just really relax Thursday, and then get to the next series Friday. But let's talk about some NFL here. So, uh, first thing I'll talk about is part of your report, uh, from Get, 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 Licken NFL, how you say the last name, uh, Cowboys reporter, uh, part of your report here, he says there is, there is, in quote, nothing imminent on a potential return to the hashtag Cowboys for free agent cornerback Stephon Gilmore. Okay, I, Gilmore was really good last year, I thought, and maybe not immediately, but Zeke picking but Zeke picking 15 is pretty telling what direction this might go in. Or no, I think he's what is it? What number is he wearing? No, he isn't wearing 21. I don't think he isn't. Um, I just don't know if we're competent enough to re-sign Gilmore. Even though, yeah, I know he's up there in age, but he's still pretty good. I mean, he had a good year last year, and I just think we I think we should bring him back. But I'm right. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm 50-50. He's had a good time here, but maybe he can move on. But I feel like he he's aging, but he's still effective. I'm not really sure what he's asking for, but Steven, Jerry and Stephen Jones are so unpredictable, but I don't even know what he's asking for. But he could go to Carolina, I think, for a homecoming reunion, or a homecoming return, excuse me. But I feel like maybe we can bring him back. But if he don't, but if we don't, he's going back to Carolina. But if he's asking for a lot of money, then I don't think they'll bring him back if he's asking for a lot of money. And if it says nothing imminent, imminent, then I assume he's asking for a lot of money and the Cowboys don't want to pay him that. So, um, party report, uh, after drafting Michael Penix Jr. at, uh, with the number eight selection, in the uh, 2024 NFL Draft, the Falcons apparently attempted to trade back up into the number 10 spot with the Jets. That would have been crazy if the Falcons managed to pull that off. So, why did they just... I still can't call in this pick. Even a few days after the NFL Draft. Oh, what were they going to do? Draft Spencer Rattler with the 10th pick? Bolster up their QB room? Gosh. But if they were going to trade up to number 10, try and trade back up, what were they going to get, like, realistically? It's almost like they had a huge hole at edge rusher, but hopefully drafting a 24-year-old Michael Penix sitting on the bench is worth it. I mean, I know they got Braylon Trice. Braylon Trice is underrated, but I still would have drafted Dallas Turner at 8. They may have actually made a good pick the second go around. Penis could be collected, could be good depending on the fit. They will collect dust in the in Atlanta. He ain't gonna do shit. Uh, per report from per a report, excuse me, from Jay Fowler, ESPN. Uh, free agent wide receiver Tyler Boy, still free agent by the way, uh, met with the hashtag Chargers and will also meet with the hashtag Titans later this week. So he's gonna meet with the Chargers and Titans later. Th um, meet with the Chargers, and then the Titans later this week. So his market might heat up a little bit. It'd be a good vet to have in the locker room. I feel like the Chargers should sign him. could be a good veteran. But I thought he had interest from the Vikings as well. I've, I think he'll go for the Chargers over the Titans, but we'll see. I think he could, there's a chance he could go to the Titans, but I feel like he want, he'd get, rather go to the Chargers over there with Jim Harbaugh. Uh, so, via Agent 89 Breakdown Show, uh, per James Palmer uh, TV, uh, the, ha the hashtag Chiefs are expecting wide receiver uh, Rasheed Rice to be suspended for at least half of the 2024 season, which is what I thought would happen. I didn't think anything else would come out of it. Yeah, I knew he'd probably be suspended at least half of the season. That's it. Um, told y'all, that's probably what would happen. 
half a season for almost killing multiple people. I mean, nobody was killed. But leaving the scene of an accident which someone, like, incurred like a personal injury can be classified as a felony. It's a pretty big deal for someone who has money and nothing to hide. Not to mention jail time. I mean... But half season suspensions seems about right for the NFL. That's all they do is just give you half suspensions for almost uh, killing people while uh, racing. Not enough. Should be really suspended the whole season. It'll probably be like a seven, eight week suspension, most likely. This is worse than Calvin Ridley, and he got a year suspension. You're telling. What the NFL is basically telling you is gambling is worse than racing and nearly killing people. The NFL is just the NFL is just ridiculous with their suspension, with their fucking suspensions. Um. So, uh, Eagle star wide receiver AJ Brown trending says that being the highest paid wide receiver in the in the hashtag NFL means nothing. And they asked to prove it. Nobody cares what's in the bank at camp when you step between the lines. I mean, yeah, he cares about the money, but he's, he still has a valid point. I mean, obviously he has to prove it, but I mean, he's had back-to-back 1,500-yard seasons. He's already proven he's worth the money. I I, I think he's going to be still be really good. I mean, he cares about the money, obviously, but he's still a valid point. Because even if you get that money, oh, you got to get out there, oh, I got, just got, oh, I got this money. Y'all get out there and perform. So, uh, via 6670, the score, uh, party report, Bears cornerback Jalen Johnson reportedly, end quote, cleared the air with Kale Williams after his comments earlier in this offseason when asked about Kale, but Kale Williams having a, end quote, Hollywood attitude. End quote, I cleared the air and I was like, hey, that wasn't what it was, what it was supposed to be. I don't know you. He hit me and was like, hey, I'm a winner. I just want to win. We had that conversation. I'm like, it's all good. Then I talked a little trash about Utah and USC and it was all good. I mean, his comments definitely came across the wrong way. I mean, he wasn't lying, but it didn't, it didn't need to be said because Williams never showed any kind of attitude problems. But it was just kind of taken out of context, honestly. I think it was just shit that was took out of context. Uh, the So the Raiders uh, signed free agent wide receiver Michael Gallup to a one-year deal. Oh, yes, Michael Gallup. Oh, yeah, he has been open in like three years on the field. That's good news for us. He was good before he tore his ACL, and after that, he's, he's just, he fell off. Uh, the Jaguars released a Zay Jones. Kind of a shocking release. Uh, former Eagle center Jason Kelsey is joining ESPN for a role on Monday Night Football's pregame show per at the Athletic. So he's gonna be on ESPN show. I felt the show just got better having Jason Kelsey with his personality. I love his personality. He's so funny. So that's good. Uh, also, we have another some more news here to talk about with the the Kelsey brothers. This time about Travis Kelsey. Uh, the Chiefs have signed star tight end Travis Kelsey to a two year extension that makes him the highest paid tight end per at rap sheet. So, that really, I guess this means he's, it's a two-year extension. It makes sense. It would mean he was in the NFL for exactly as long as his brother. So, I feel this could be uh, two more years of Travis Kelsey, and then he might uh, call it a career. So, two more years of Andy Reid and Travis Kelsey, Mahomes. So, yeah, basically two more. I feel this is two more years of Travis Kelsey in the NFL. Uh, but, yeah, it's all the NFL here. Um to talk about. So until next time I'm out, peace.